our wonderful audience has something to say to you, right, folks? <laughs> Tulsa 23 presents The Billy Parker Show. Tonight, Billy's special guest, Gail Davies. With Crystal Gale, John D. LeVan, Razzie Bailey, and Bob Cooper and Rob Ryan from K95 FM. And now, here's Billy Parker. Her sign on the road that winds out on that broad highway and the place for me is the sign I see T-U-L-S-A straight ahead y'all love Tulsa there's a railroad crossing and the bus are rocking just taking me away I'll pass the time till I see that sign T-U-L-S-A straight ahead gonna settle down when I reach that city fair I'm homeward bound, and I know I'll soon be there. There's no need talking, I'll get there a walking if there's just no other way. I'll pass the time till I see that sign, T-U-L-S-A, straight ahead on Tulsa 23. If there's just no other way Oh, I read the sign on the Kansas state line T-U-L-S-A, straight ahead T-U-L-S-A, straight ahead Good old Tulsa Thank you all Thank you, Silver Dollar Band Thank you, ladies and gentlemen at Duke's Country Oh, what a happy audience tonight, and I certainly hope that all of you at home viewing Tulsa 23 have a wonderful time. And that's what we have lined up for you, because you know the guests that we have on the show tonight, and they're going to bring a lot of great entertainment into your living room or wherever you may be tonight. Here's a little lady. I'm envious of her. She has hair. <laughs> a whole lot of beautiful hair, doesn't she, fellas, huh? As a matter of fact... She's a beautiful lady, along with all the rest of the beautiful ladies we have tonight. How about our nice Tulsa 23 Dukes Country audience giving a big hand to Miss Crystal Gale. We can talk about love, but don't talk my way. Cause it's love that I want and need and I think about it every day. about you, we can talk about me, but let's not talk about the girl and that's what I have to be.
You can sing for us right here just any time you want to, honey. A beautiful lady, and of course, most of you already know, but of course she is Loretta Lynn's sister, and it's just a, a, just a family full of wonderful talent, and we appreciate having her courtesy of Columbia Records and Tulsa 23 on our show tonight. Here's a boy that, that works for us. We get to see him in Tulsa. And when I say works for us, I mean for you, you folks watching, you folks here, because anywhere he goes, he really works and does his part to put on a great show. He entertains the folks at the Quality Inn Airport and has been for quite some time. He can do a one-man show or he can take the whole band and go. I'll prove it to you right now. How about a nice hand for John D. LeVan? John, let's go to Memphis. Get out here, boy. Dog got it. Distance information, give me Memphis, Tennessee. Help me find a party trying to get in touch with me. She could not leave a number, I know who placed the call. My uncle took the message and he wrote it on the wall. Long distance information, get in touch with my Marie. She's the only one that called me here from Memphis, Tennessee. On the south side, high up on a ridge, just a half a mile from the Mississippi Bridge. All right, play that thing. Special guest, Gail Davies. It's the world, and I'm visiting with a young lady in Tulsa by way of Broken Bow, Oklahoma. Oklahoma's own, Gail Davies. Gail, welcome to the show. Thank you. We were talking the other day about your being considered a modern artist, a contemporary female country singer, and yet your roots are in traditional country music. Um, deep roots, am I correct? Yes, I'm, I grew up listening to country music. My father played guitar, sang in a country band, and uh, I think he, uh, he was raised in Texarkana. Of course, today, if you mention traditional country music, a lot of people think you're talking perhaps about Merle Bluegrass. Haggard. Oh. But, I mean, uh, <laughs> yeah. we're talking about uh, music from the 40s and yep. uh, some of the Johnny and Jack and old Webb Pierce songs. Right. And I think you still have a fondness for those songs. Yeah, I do. In fact, people will ask me, you know, where I found the old songs that I'll record on my album. And they were songs I sang when I was a little girl. I was a very big fan of Webb Pierce. He was probably my number one favorite male singer. And Ray Price and Johnny and Jack. And well, I was going to ask if that was your thinking behind the Ray Price song, I'll Be There. Yeah. Carl Smith, all those people. I, I sang a lot of their material. And then when I do albums, I start thinking of, of things I'd like to uh, have redone because so many people today really don't know that those songs are standards. Mm -hmm. you know, they'll say, uh, did you write Poison Love? And I'll say, no, that's an old Johnny and Jack song. Mm -hmm. you, um, you have an advantage as a vocalist in that you're a record producer. And I want the viewers to know that you've done three albums now for Warner Brothers, I believe, mm -hmm. and have produced all three, which to my way of thinking, it's most unusual because many artists record um, for decades and are never allowed production privilege. How, uh, how were you able to secure a production of your own album so early? Well, it's a long story, but it, 
trying to, to summarize it, what had happened was I was producing it, co-producing an album with a friend of mine who uh, worked with Don Williams. And Don decided to record his album at the same time. There was a conflict of our, our time schedules. So I asked him if he thought I could do the album alone, and he said, yeah, I think you can, mm -hmm. without any problems. So um, I called the executive at Warner's Country and told him I was going to do the album. He was very upset. He says, no, I don't want you to go into the studio. I want you to, to wait. I'm going to come out there, and we'll talk about it, finding you someone else to co-produce with. I had already booked time in Muscle Shoals to record it, and I was in the process of buying a house. So I took the money that I would have bought the house with, and I went to Muscle Shoals, and I paid for all the sessions. And I went ahead and finished cutting the album, the basic tracks. And he flew in that uh, the next week, and I played him the things, and he said, oh, this is terrific. You guys are doing a great job. And I said, well, these are things I've done alone. Mm -hmm. And he said, where'd you get the money? And I said, you know, I would have, this is from buying my house. So he says, well, it's, it's obvious that you do know what you're doing, and Warner Brothers will reimburse you, and, and you can produce the album. It was a gamble. It, it really paid. was a long shot. Of course, you had had production experience previously, and I believe um, we're in on a session, a John Lennon session. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. A friend of mine, Jeff Berry in Hollywood, who's a, who uh, is a songwriter and producer, always said he thought I had a real natural instinct for production. And uh, he called uh, me a couple of times, let me sit in on some sessions. And one time I, when I went over to the studio, it was uh, Phil uh, Spector was doing an mm -hmm. album with John Lennon, and mm -hmm. I got to meet John, and he was very impressive. We talked the other day about people who say country music is changing and it's it's a um, it's a statement perhaps a complaint that you hear often, often yeah. um, do you think it's changing or or not and and if not um, how do you uh, how do you respond to that when people tell you country music is changing well you know this is my soapbox I like to get on this one well, fine this one and women in country music are my two favorite really? subjects. well we need some more furniture on this <laughs> we'll just... I really think that um, I think, of course, country music is changing because anything that, that progresses has to change. And um, I, I believe that, you know, that the country's always been influenced, you know, it has always influenced country mu music. Like we were talking about Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers when they were teaching the country to do the bossa nova. Hank Snow was singing Rumba Boogie down South America way. Johnny and Jack's uh, uh, Poison Love and uh, Ashes of Love were, were very much Latin influenced. So country was influenced then by what, what was the fad and the style of the entire nation. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I think now it's the same way. You know, country music uh, is affected by um, everything else that's going on. And right now, there's a, there's a whole new uh, movement of independence in, in the Southern women that's being influenced uh, with real strong women like uh, Roseanne Cash, who will take a man's song and turn it around and sing it from a, wom a woman's point of view. A lot of things, like Lacey J. Dalton is a very strong uh, female image for the country business today. I want to touch very quickly on a woman who influenced you and your career, and who was personified in one of your hits, Grandma's Song. Right. And there was a recording, a voice on that, a solo voice on that record that was not yours. Would you tell us that story? Yeah, I, uh, <laughs> I have to tell you a funny story about it. I, I used to have a... Uh, manager who's uh, had an assistant who came up to me one day and he goes I don't like I don't think that the studio you're working in is very good and I said why and he goes well in the front of grandma's song they really make you sound like a wretched old woman <laughs> and he didn't know it was your grandmother I said, that wretched old woman is my grandma yeah it is a, it's an old tape of my grandmother singing a tune uh, a fo uh, called a fox hunting song that I learned when I was a little girl in Oklahoma and uh, after she passed away, I wrote this song about her as a tribute. And then I got to thinking about, you know, I, I'd remembered hearing this tape, and I called my mother, and she said, yeah, we still have that tape. And I said, I'd like to use it on my record. So I, I spliced it on the front of the uh, song I wrote about her. And I know if she was alive today, she'd just kill me. All along the old back road, the people stop to talk at her garden gate while inside the family cried all through the night cause the old woman had passed away I loved her so and know she was a special one I loved 
lovely lady and a gentle old soul. And she taught me to sing an old folk song. It's got a melody of a hundred years ago. And she sang a come a loom, come a loom, come a hallow, a come down the merry up next on the Billy Parker Show. Once in a while, I go out there to have fun. And so can you. The Silver Dollar Ballroom presents the Silver Dollar Band every Saturday night from 9 to 1. We're just six miles west of Sapopa on Highway 66 near Kellyville, only 12 miles from Tulsa. BYOL, regular admission, $5. 18 and up admitted. Spend your Saturday nights with us at the Silver Dollar Ballroom. Coming Saturday, May 8th, Reba McIntyre. Tickets now on sale at Sperling's Western Wear Sapopa, Stagger Grocery, Kellyville, or at the door. If I were to ask you folks here at Duke's Country tonight, and probably you folks at home, what your favorite Oak Ridge Boys song happened to be, what would you say? <laughs> That's what I thought you'd say. Ladies and gentlemen, a nice hand for David Thayer, one to take the place of four, and Elvira and the Silver Dollar Band, huh? shine like heaven and lips like cherry wine that girl can show sure enough make my little light shine yes yeah, she can and i get a funny feeling up and down my spine cause i know that my Giddy up, giddy up, giddy up, mow, mow, giddy up, giddy up, mow, mow, high, old silver, they wave. Tonight I'm gonna meet her. 
supper at the Hungry House Cafe. And I'm gonna give her all the love I have. Well, that girl's gonna jump and holler, cause I saved up my last ten dollars. We're gonna search and find us a preacher man. And I'm singing Elvira. Hi, thank you again, David. Great job. Bob Cooper and company from K95 FM. Want to thank Billy Parker for having me on the show and the guy right here on my left, Rob Ryan from K95 FM. Uh, you know, our radio station was born on the same day as our nation, July 4th, 1981, and we just wanted to take a moment to thank you for being so doggone responsive to us, and we appreciate that you've made the move to Tulsa Stereo Country. As you may well know, it's my pleasure to join you every morning from 6 till 10. And if you don't do it, we hope you will one of these mornings. And Rob Ryan on the air every weekday from 1 until 4 has another little interesting job, Rob. Well, thank you very much, Bob. Besides being on the air 1 to 4 in the afternoon, also a music director. And that involves taking complaints or thank you notes or, and phone calls from people that just appreciate the music that we play. Okay, and uh, there you have it. From Rob Ryan, the music director, you like it, give him a call and let him know. And since you are the music man, Rob, let's find out what we're going to hear next on the Billy Parker Show. Thank you very much, Bob. And now the gentleman that you also listen to here in Tulsa. From radio station KVO, here's Billy Parker. You say you found somebody new, but I don't want no one but you. How can you turn? walk away forget the love I shared with you yes I could find somebody too but I don't want no one but you how can you leave without regret am I that easy to Before you leave, be sure you find You want his love much more than mine I'll just say we've never met If I'm that easy to forget I'll just say we've never met If I'm that easy to forget And now let's welcome a gentleman who is a country music songwriter, superstar in his own right, now a fledging star in the country music scene, RCA recording artist. There's more country fun coming up in just a minute. Hello, Tulsa, how are you? This is a song that I recorded. It was my third gold record. It's called Take a Letter Maria. Last night, as I got home, about a half past ten There was a woman I thought I knew In the arms of another man I kept my cool I 
ain't no fool Let me tell you what happened then I packed some clothes and I walked out And I ain't going back again So take a letter, Maria Address it to my wife See, I won't be coming home Gotta start a new life So take a letter, Maria Address it to my wife Send a copy to my lawyer Gotta start a new life You've been many things But most of all A good secretary to me And it's times like this I feel That you'll always be close to me And was I wrong to work nights To try to feel a good life All work and no play Has just cost me a while So take a letter, Maria Address it to my wife See, I won't be coming home Gotta start a new life So take a letter, Maria Address it to my wife Send a copy to my lawyer Gotta start a new life When a man loves a woman it's hard to understand That she would find no pleasure In the arms of another man Maria, I never really noticed Just how sweet you are to me It just all happens I'm free tonight But you'd like to have dinner with me So take a letter, Maria Address it to my wife I won't be coming home Gotta start a new life So take a letter, Maria Address it to my wife Send a copy to my lawyer Gotta start a new life Whoa, yeah Take a letter, Maria Address it to my wife Say I won't be coming home Gotta start a new life Whoa, yeah Take a letter, Maria Address it to my wife Send a copy to my lawyer Gotta start a new life Will you do me a favor? I'll do it. Will you help me introduce a couple of people? They own a music store here in Tulsa, and everybody knows Roy Ferguson, and everybody knows Candy No, but they do such a super job together. I thought maybe you and I could say Roy and Candy at the same time, just see if we can. Ladies and gentlemen, make welcome Roy and Candy. We done. with this boy in a long time. He has been picking around our country for a long time. A lot of people remember him back when you traveled with Marvin McCullough in the band. And of course, Gene Mooney and the Westerners, they've danced to your music. Gene, good to have you with me. Ladies and gentlemen, Gene Mooney, huh? 
Thank you very much, Billy, and it's a pleasure to be here. Man, this is a lively crowd, you know it, and the band sounds great, real good. Wonderful crowd here and a wonderful crowd out home watching this. And wonder if you, there was a song you used to do. It's an old song, but a lot of people can relate to it, called Have You Ever Been Lonely? Would you do it for us? Have you ever been blue? I've been blue, and I've been happy, and I've been bluer. Okay, <laughs> hey, the, hey we, we're going to mess around here and write another song before we get this and all. Gene Mooney, ladies and gentlemen. been lonely have you ever been blue have you ever loved someone like I love you can't you see that I'm sorry for each mistake I've made can't you see I've changed dear can't you see I've paid be a little forgiven and take me back in your heart how can i go on living when we're so far apart if you knew what i've been through then you'd know why i ask you have you ever been lonely have you ever been blue yeah been blue have you ever loved someone like i love you can't you see that i'm sorry for each mistake i've made can't you see i've changed you can't you see i've paid be a little forgiven and take me back in your heart How can I go on living When we're so far apart If you knew what I've been through Then you'd know why I ask you Have you ever been lonely? Have you ever been blue? Have you ever been lonely? been blue. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Special guest Gail Davies in just a minute. Stop me, I'll be there if you 
you got to save some of that applause for this boy and his entire band. They appear every Saturday night at the Silver Dollar Ballroom. You're going to enjoy them right here at Duke's Country tonight and right on your TV set on Tulsa 23. So let's make welcome to Wayne Boyd and the Silver Dollar Band with Cal Patty right now, huh? He's bounded down, we're loaded up and trucking, and we're going to do what they say can be done. We've got a long way to go, and a short time to get there. I mean, it's bound just for two bandit run. Now Smokey's got the mirrors on, and he's hot on your trail. He ain't going to rest till you're in jail. Now you got to dodge and you got to duck and you got to keep that diesel trucking. So put that hammer down and give it hell. We're east and down, we're loaded up and trucking, and we're going to do what they say can be done. We've got a long way to go, and a short time to get there. I mean, it's about just for two bandits to run. David! Silver Dollar Band here at Duke's Country this evening. Good evening, I'm Richard Kay, one of the newest additions to the KBOO Big Country Music family, and I'm on from midnight to 5, Tuesday morning through Saturday morning, and from 3 to 10 on Sunday. But that's enough of that. Let's get on with Billy Parker and a medley of Webb Pierce tunes. Thank you, Richard, very much. And Clarence Boyd, if you're ready, we're going to kind of reminisce a little bit. Back in the 1950s, Webb Pierce had a string of hits in the charts. As a matter of fact, it wasn't nothing unusual for him to have two, three, maybe even four songs in the chart at a time. Maybe you'll remember some of them. Sing along with me if you want to. There stands the glass. Fill it up to the brim. Till my troubles grow dim. It's my first one today. There stands the glass that will ease all my pain, that will scatter my brain. Brother, I'm on my way. And along in that same era, a song that came out that sold, I don't know how many records, but I would say probably a million records in the country field. We've done a good job on it. We hope you like our version of it. Wondering, wondering, who's kissing you? Wondering, wondering, if you're wondering too. Every hour of the day Since you went away I keep wondering, yes, wondering If you're wondering too This next Web Pierce song, a lot of folks fell in love to it 
and a lot of folks fell out of love with it. But it's an oldie, it gets back. Now, I don't want y'all to think that I knew all these songs, because when these songs was out, I wasn't even born. Do you believe that? I got some ocean land for sale down at Topper's down on Fort Gibson, too. <laughs> but here it is. You didn't know I wasn't free When you fell in love with me And with all your young heart You learned to care It brought you shame and disgrace The world has tumbled in your face so let them call our love a back street affair. Remember that? Wet Fierce Grady. And another one. Got to get four of them in tonight because we had a request for this one here at Duke's Country. Slowly I'm falling more in love with you. that can be true my heart i know you're stealing i hope that you'll be true slowly i'm falling more in love with you Thank you, Webb, for singing them. And thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for liking them tonight. We appreciate it. Stay tuned. The Marshall Tucker Band. Up our show and the folks here at Duke's Country know and audiences all over our country who has already chosen this girl and, of course, predicted a great career for her in our music country world. As a matter of fact, she won the Wrangler Star Search Contest for the state of Oklahoma and will soon go, am I right, to Nashville? That's right. And that's where the finals are going to be before too very long, am I correct? That's right. It's April 26th through the 28th. And she is here on our show because she was one of the contest winners in the Dukes contest that they had here recently. I know you're going to enjoy her, and I want you to make her welcome. Tila, it's so good to have you. Tila Sumney, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs>
dreams I said that night life No, it ain't no good life By the way, I want to remind you folks watching Tulsa 23, we'd like to hear from you no matter where you live. As a matter of fact, if you'll sit down and drop me a card or a letter to Billy Parker in care of Tulsa 23, KOKI TV, Tulsa, Oklahoma, I'll get it. And the first hundred cards and letters I get, we're going to send you our latest Soundways record absolutely free back in the mail to you. So get the cards in to us, just to Billy Parker, Tulsa 23, KOKI TV, Tulsa, Oklahoma. Here's a group, my boys, Billy Joe and Chris. Boy, they, they really like them. We get so many requests to have on and after all you're the folks that make up the show so here they are the marshall tucker band so much about this group. Everybody around the Tulsa area has been telling me, Billy, you've got to visit with Donna Williams and Fat Tuesday. I said, who in the world's Fat Tuesday? They say, that's the band. And I find out that they're fantastic, and I want to share them with you tonight at Duke's Country. So here they are, Donna Williams and Fat Tuesday. <laughs> Don't worry, take a pill and learn to fail. 
story grows the days begin and end with how we played it still i know all i need is you next to me in the end all i want is you close to me through it all catch me McIntyre's little brother, Pate, sings his great song next on The Billy Parker Show. And finding out, Billy, how are you? I'm doing fine. It's so good to have you on the show, and everybody knows who Reba is, so I just want you to give Reba a big old kiss for us. And I want the folks here at Duke's Country to make welcome one of my good friends and the nicest guy you'll ever meet, and he is a real cowboy as well as a real country singer. A nice hand for Pate McIntyre and the Country Cousins! Thank you, Billy. Thank you, Billy. Okay. Pickup truck driver, wild horses and bulls know my name. I'm a dead-eyed straight shooter, a fast ringtail tutor. I treat all the ladies the same. Well, I've walked across Texas, I've boogied in Tucson, I've danced the Paul Jones and Cheyenne. I play a white Fender guitar, fiddle cotton I Joe. I've worked in a hillbilly band. Well, if you've seen Merle Haggard, you've probably seen me Cause it drove the man's bus for a while I'm a fan of Red Steagall's like beer drinking music The cowgirls, they all love my style There's a million just like me, everyone different Doing the best that we can The rodeo man well, a bull broke my leg when I bucked off in Denver. Had one ear bit off in a fight. But my long hair, it hides it. Somehow I don't mind it. Cause I bit off his nose with one bite. I wear tight Wrangler breeches, wear no cone of boots. Carry skull and a custom built can. Well, I'll rip them, I'll poke them, I'll rope them, I'll choke them. I'm a hell of a rodeo man. There's a million just like me, everyone different, doing the best that we can. The rodeo man. to heaven i'm gonna ask him to tell me just where i stand he'll probably just look at me and say you're a truck driving bull riding highballing low flying school dipping cow chipping butt busting rodeo man i'm a truck driving bull riding highballing low flying school Dippin', cow chippin', but bustin' rodeo man. 
Thank you. Great job, Peg. That just goes to show some of the best-grown talent who's grown right here in Oklahoma between Peg McIntyre and the Country Cousins and, of course, his sister, Reba. Speaking of ladies in country music, you know, women are making advances in so many areas of, of industry and technology, and even in the music business, we're proud to present now on the Billy Parker Show the only lady producer in Nashville. This lady produces all her own records, and she has produced a string of hits. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Gail Davies. to where I'm going. Parker Show will continue in just a moment. One, two, one, two, three. My mama says, don't worry. She's gonna help me find a man who treats people right, strong, sincere, and kind. My daddy says, don't hurry for me to take my
We appreciate it. You know, it's my pleasure to introduce you to some boys tonight visiting with us that have come up with a winning ring. As a matter of fact, they won the Duke's Talent Contest just recently here at Duke's Country in Tulsa, Oklahoma. The number one winners, and I can understand why, and so can you when you hear them pick and sing. So let's make them welcome to the Parker Show tonight, the Spare Time Band. Congratulations, y'all. to get the old coat and the guitar and head back for the house. But we do want to thank you all so much here at Duke's Country and you folks for watching on Tulsa 23. There's no better fun than Duke's Country Tulsa 23 fun. Thank you so much for being with us. God bless you and have a good week. Be better to your neighbor, as Ernest Tubb would say. You'll have better neighbors, doggone you. Of a Pringle? It's the deep fried taste. It's the crispy crunch. And the Pringles, we might need a bunch. We got the fever for the flavor of a Pringle. It's the deep fried taste. It's the crispy crunch. We got the fever for the flavor of a Pringle. No preservatives. Regular light rippled. Chopper 2. Live news coverage from the air. Direct to you. Ready to take you where the news happens. Getting to the news fast. Chopper 2. At News Center 2, we're working harder every day. We have to, to earn your trust. There's a chiller out there. You don't see it, but you're looking right at it. It's cold.